All right, so this is going to be the 100% walkthrough of Maiden, which is the game that I made. For a couple of reasons. Number one, I think it's important for devs to actually play their own games. There's a tendency to hate what we create, but it's important to own up to it. I was attempting to use this as a showcase to get work in game narrative design versus actually game dev. So I'm not a game developer or coder by, by training. This game took about two and a half to three months to create. First video game I've ever made. And it's building it from the ground up. So I had to actually build my own engine first. Number two is I think some games are more fun to watch someone else play than to play yourself. This might be one of those games. It is a graphic adventure kind of interactive fiction kind of game. I've sufficiently forgotten enough of the small details of this game's puzzles, at least as far as getting 100%, that I can play it just kind of based off of the clues that I provided for myself. So if I can't 100% this game, and sadly, I don't think many game developers can 100% their own games, but at the end, I'll give uh, an honest kind of self-assessment of what I've created here. Trust me, I, if you know me in real life, I am my own worst critic. So let's get into it. This game is a proof of concept. Many of its assets are taken from other sources and not the intellectual property of the game's creator. Yes, very important to, to let everyone know that. Welcome to Maiden, a first-person graphic adventure puzzle game. Be sure to search every area for clues. You never know what you might find that could save you. Good luck. right into it space uh, bar is search to use confirm arrow keys to move i for inventory simple enough and save game and load game cool okay just get right into it an object lies wedged in the dirt under a man's footprint damn the breathing is getting to my ears Okay, the obligatory tutorial stuff. Pulsating black marker indicates something of interest. Press space bar to search or interact. I shall do that. The effect belongs to Henry. He's never without it. Cool. So getting into navigation, searching for stuff, and my inventory. Use this? No, key items in your inventory are triggered automatically. Okay. So heavy breathing probably suggests that you should get out of the cold as quickly as possible. Oh, something right here. Frozen violets bloom along the base of this lattice. So I'm going to play it as if I were just a regular player given the clues that I'm given. That's a loud ass knock. Two music and the ticking clock. Already a good sign already. So if I were doing this, just coming to this place for the first time, what would I do? Is just immediately start exploring around, seeing what I can click on. Bronze keyhole. Let's not go through there just yet. Anything here I can grab. Can I touch this clock? I cannot. Anything in this drawer? Nope. Nothing. Ooh. Whisper beckons from the doorway. This doorway. A shadow appears from behind the doorway. Thou come searching for thy husband. As time goes short, thou must uh, need must make haste to him ere the candle time. Night time. The voice recedes back into darkness and fades. Return without loss and I will guide thee how I can. Okay, we're searching for our husband. At least that's the hints given so far. Henry. First floor first. Usually a good idea to search along the first floor. Uh -huh. Sir, I'm coming searching for my husband. Henry pretends to see him. The Duke! 
The man looks thoughtfully at you but does not respond. Pulsating colored marker indicates a person of interest. Press spacebar in front of them to talk. Okay. So that's how it works. Pulsating colored marker. I should do that? Some of this man seems familiar. Indeed. Uh, sir? Eyes weary, rest a while. Okay, he seems very preoccupied with his tobacco and book. Okay. Ah. The lettering of this book is English, but I cannot read. I can well enough the lettering on its cover. Some RE style clues already. Ah, the castle. An exquisite dollhouse facsimile of a castle. of some sort may have to belong to this man. So in the tradition of the old classic Resident Evil games, there's some stuff that is just purely environment and kind of atmosphere, as opposed to stuff that is necessary for your progression in the game. And right now, it's not 100% clear exactly what it is just yet. I mean, there was a, a cupboard with a bronze key, so clearly we're going to need a bronze key. Tomes found 2 out of 12. Red, 0 out of 12. Something in here? Okay. And I totally understand the game's limitations as far as being like this kind of static interactive fiction graphic adventure as opposed to being like real-time 3D. But uh, that was the limitation I was working under. All right, let's check out uh, upstairs. Oh painting. Painting of a doll craft from bone and yarn. Its eyes follow my every step. Airy step. Anything in this drawer? No. Can I pass these boxes? Can't. Okay. God damn it! Scared the shit out of me again. Ill-looking man. Ill-looking man. I'm come searching for my husband, Henry. Pretend to see him. The man leers at me, but he does not respond. Okay, creepy as hell. Everyone's all drugged up here. So far. Treasure is locked by a bronze keyhole. Second bronze keyhole. Anything here? Learning this book is English. That's, what is it, the third or the fourth book I've come across? This one is four of twelve. Ah, uh -huh. okay. Are you still being a shithead? You are, okay, just checking. So this is the interior of House Beneviento in RE Village. For those of you who are just kind of catching up, using the assets from that game, but uh, stitched in its own kind of customizable way. Okay, this is the Azure Maid. Thou there, come hither. There she is. Someone else is right there. Wait, did I check everything over here yet? Oh, she needs me to come to her. Okay, 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 I get it, I get it, I get it. Now with the new maid servant, servant maiden that has come from the Bay Colony? Maiden? Nay, I'm searching for my husband, Henry, perchance has seen him. The maid glances at my wedding band with great discomfort. Thou need must leave here at once if it does not come to serve in my mistress's employ. I cannot back to Plymouth areas found. I'm from Plymouth, Massachusetts. Peace now, I have not seen or know thy husband. Hmm. Oh. Exquisite bowls, plates, and cutlery lie atop a common dining table. I have not best touch them and search elsewhere for now. What about this dude over here? I can't grab this thing, right? You search for an apple from the basket. Return that at once. None save my mistress's guests shall eat her apples. Tis for their pleasure in place of their fast days to come. These dudes are her guests? Please you, mate. I have eaten not for days. She was kind enough to give me one. Ooh, I got an apple. 
Restores 25% health. I'm guessing that takes me from like yellow caution all the way to fine. At least according to Resident Evil rules. Five of 12, okay. More books. Many cast lay neatly atop each other on the porchway belfry outside. That's another bronze keyhole. What about you? Are you normal? Mirthful man. I'm searching for my husband Henry, pretends to see him. The man appears content eating an apple and does not respond. Yeah, he's totally normal. Giggling, giggling. Everyone here giggles. The cabinet with a false door. Its keyhole is bent and the latch will not budge. Can I pry it open with my nails? Okay. Uh, all right, let's, let's move on. Anything over here? Talking to you again. Ask me no more on thy husband and trifles. My mistress bade me tend to her guests and not else. I will put the question to her then. Where is she? The maid watches me with renewed interest. My mistress has given thee shelter from cold until morn, maiden. Thou art overpert. I am too insolent. I will leave thy home upon finding my husband not sooner. I say again, I am no more a maiden. Thy maiden head is still intact. Thou art but a virgin newly wedded. Not escapes my mistress' eyes and ears. Be long now. Okay, everyone is conspicuously involved in my my sex life. At least according to this girl. Oh, some stuff here. Not but soot and ash in this oven. That's what they used to call fireplaces, ovens. Oh. Shrubs and branches fester the outside of this window. This book is locked by a golden keyhole. Okay. So a bronze keyhole and a golden keyhole. The lettering of this book is English, but I cannot read. We take it for granted that we can read now, but literacy was not a widespread thing back then. I can well enough the lettering on its cover. Six of twelve. Okay. That reflects in my inventory? Yes, I'm finding out more books. Tomes. Okay. And, oh. More bronze keyholes. Okay, clearly the bronze key is a very important thing that the game is telling me I need to find. Can I eat this plant? That's a good question. Can I eat this plant? Get a stat boost. I cannot. Can I eat this plant? No. Okay. That's a funky looking door, so let's check out what's over here first. Can I grab anything here? Nope. How deep the rabbit hole goes. Maid number two. Thy husband is not here, maiden. Leave my mistress' manor at once for thy sake. For my sake? Uh, where did you... Where'd you go? That's not you, is it? Spiteful man! Sir, I am searching for my husband, Henry. Perchance I've seen him. The man leers at me as he sips his tea, but does not respond. Very evil man sipping his tea in a strange home. The man sips his tea in silence. Okay, let's leave the man alone to his tea sipping. Uh, there you are, I think. The maid glances at your wedding band with great discomfort. Why must you find him? Him? Why? Dost thou love thy husband, truly? Should I not? Aye, as my Christ commands it, must I obey. I see, thou's been like as a shrew to his affection in thy marriage bed, that he is vanished. Huh. Then thy thoughts into thyself, maiden, and look not upon others for thy folly. That's my folly, I suppose. I'm not giving him any, so he left. Is what the game's saying, or what these maids are saying. My mistress heirloom lip rouge is still vanished from its sideboard. I have scoured the porch way outside for days without luck and without profit my soul to find it lip rouge porchway brackets thou keep an unfeigned grief for want of thy mistress graces alone my mistress give marvelous pleasures to they who abide her will she deliver punishments as wrath for they who do not 
crazy BDSM shit. This is probably a harem of some kind, as deduced from this point. Looking here. A widow's mantle and gloves draped the settee. Maiden of the Harvest. Maiden of the Harvest, a painting depicts nude maidens dancing in a reverie over a rain sodden field. Exquisite porcelain teacups set atop a lavish guest table. I'd best not touch them and search elsewhere for now. Teacups and brackets, probably important. Oh. Another bronze key. Needed. I don't think there's going to be like buttons that you push along the wall that open up the wall. Is there? I learned this book is English, but I cannot read. Oh, the book's on the shelf right there? This one is 7 of 12. A cold wind blows from behind the hearth. That sounds way different than when I programmed it in. Away from there. I like thee not to trifle with my mistress' guests in bedquarters. So clearly, a significant amount of dialogue was cut from the beta. I can already feel it. Significant, which is good. Books? Okay, so I've come across two golden keyholes and a bunch of bronze keyholes. So I'm guessing bronze key, gold key. Needed. Let's check this out. The maid watches me from the doorway but makes no effort to hinder my search. Okay. A gilded bed befitting a queen, its fabrics are as soft as bare skin. Yeah, it's a brothel. 100%. Of some sort. His clothes lie at the foot of the bed, and something else is here. Is that her corset? The maid watches from the doorway as I search, then vanishes from sight. Wait, inventory? <laughs> Woolen doublet, clothes belong to Henry, they were found at the foot of the lady of the manor's bed. I think we can already infer what's happened here. Corset. Laced corset once worn by a vile temptress. Its translucent fabric is as soft as bare skin. These are both key items. So can't can't directly use them. Yeah, trigger automatically. Okay. Henry's clothes were laying at the foot of another woman's bed. Yeah. Okay. I get it. I get it. An exquisitely crafted shelf filled with many tomes. There are three recesses where three colored books once sat. Three colored books. Okay. More of those bracket quotes. Clues. A relief painted here depicts a fraught man and his wife taking a young maiden into their company. Okay, I get it. Totally get it. The cupboard locked by another bronze keyhole. Hmm. Lots of bronze in this house. A bronze lever with a horse shaped knob. An inscription reads Book Vault. Its lock has a slot where two rings would fit. All right, a couple of things we gotta get here. Keys, books, rings. Anything else? Oh, same stuff. Shadow. Uh-huh. Something on this table. The lettering in this book is English, but I cannot read. I can well enough the lettering on its cover. This one is 8 of 12. Okay, anything back here? Anything back here? Uh, a black enamel sculpture carved from fine ivory. Detail or key thing to watch out for? If it makes a noise, probably it's important. Okay, two, two rings. Switch back here. Oh, something back here. Something by the opposite foot of the bedpost. The maid watches from the doorway as I take the cloak, but makes no effort to stop me. So people are getting freaky here. An ebon silk mantle once worn by a vile temptress when draped, it resembles the sable wings of a bat. Also a key item. Okay, let's get out of here. So that's as far as I can go from here. Wait, can I actually squeeze through this fireplace? 
No, not right now. This dude's still being a tea sipping shithead. Okay. Let's move along. Storytelling is absolutely much harder in a video game because you are taking into account number one, player agency, but also because video games are made more for an international market. Even if the dialogue is a little bit more nuanced, it does have to be clear enough that when translated internationally, anyone cross-culturally can understand what's going on. And so you have to rely more on audio-visual stuff, you know? Okay, this is seeping through this place. A foul odor lingers this hall. I'm being watched. Really? Really? Anything I can find over here? No? Can I sit in this chair? That's the third time I've seen that painting. Second time I've seen that cat. Door here. Now, this is not some Wolfenstein stuff where you, like, push a wall and then re treasure reveals itself. The fruit atop this door rots before my eyes. Rots? Another golden keyhole thing. The bronze keyhole. All right, let's see what the, what's at the end of this hallway. Red marker probably means something of of great import. A framed inscription reads the pregnant virgin. Totally normal. Totally normal. Lots of sexual innuendo in this place. The doorway leads to the cellar, but is locked by a bronze keyhole. A voting presence serves behind it. May have Henry may have uh, been taken through here. Okay. So, just a little bit of foreknowledge here. That is a breach point. Once you get past that point, the second half of the game kicks in. Or the last half I'm of the game. I'm watching you. Scared the crap out of me again. Scared the crap out of me when I played the Maiden demo, too. <laughs> of RE Village. <laughs> I'm gonna chill inside this doorway for the time being. A book vault. False books lay about the shelves or pages are blank. A book vault with blank books. Strange effects lie about this desk. Can I eat this plant? False books lay about the shelves or pages are blank. It's a book vault full of blank books. table a drape of some sort not but false books behind its cover more false books I feel a draft from behind this shelf what about this coat hanger no an ominous painting of green pasture and still water the flame's flicker appears to give life to the scenery. That's some very classic RE1 shit right there. Something over here. The lettering of this book is English, but I cannot read. That's 10 of 12. How many have I gotten so far? I've gotten eight. Eight found, tomes found. Now the tomes are optional, but if I were playing this for the first time and I didn't know that, then Let's see how easy it is just to find them, based off of the clues given to us. The lettering of this book is English, but I cannot read. That's 9 of 12. So that's another one. Okay. The, uh, the book shelf is locked by a golden keyhole. So there's golden keyholes, bronze keyholes. Nothing else in this place so far. Let's check out the last door. being watched by a crazy, psychotic bitch. Excuse me? 
shelves have fallen. I cannot pass through. A girl at the kitchen counter smiles like an angel at you. Thou art a maiden here. A maid here. I'm sorry. Uh, that is absolutely not Welsh. I cannot understand thy words. Dost speak or understand my English tongue? The girl nods understanding. I'm searching for my husband. His name is Henry. Perchance has seen him. Okay. A cipher. Tis no use. The girl remains inscrutable. Okay. Cooking pans. Cooking pots of bronze. Garlic bulbs beat together. Their clothes have rotted. She's cooking rotten food. She's cutting rotten vegetables. Dining bowls molded from wood and porcelain. The girl gestures slowly as she speaks. Uh, I R I S. Iris. That's Siri backwards. Iris, is that thy name, child? How didst thou, a child, come upon this place? The girl glances at my wedding band with discomfort and quietly resumes her kitchen duties. Okay. Water pump for washing dishes, but I have not the time. Still searching for a bronze key. Something here. Water simmers inside a bronze pot atop the stove. Had I the ingredients, I can brew something. I can craft stuff? Okay. That's still her, right? The girl points at something amiss on the counter. Those cups, dear girl, what of them? Mistress teacup. In brackets. Vanished? I see. Thy mistress will chide thee to no end unless it is found. Mayhap I ought search the mistress's guest room. For a teacup? Okay, so far the game is throwing some hints all along the way as far as things to be found and where things can potentially be found. The fruit? Rots. That's the fourth time I've seen that painting. The shelves uh, fall and I cannot pass. Okay. Damn, how far does it stretch? This tunnel. The tallow melts lower in its holder. Yeah, that is absolutely my shadow. It's over here. An engine of some sort. Appears not to work. Okay, a hole right here? A crawl space lay at my feet, but the bandage bandage swats cover it from the other side. Hmm. Oh, something here. The lettering of this book is English, but I cannot read. Twelve of t that's the final book. So I've found missing two so far. But let's see how how apparent it is that I can find the the remaining two. Can't do anything with this lamp. Oh. That is the painting of the lake, by the way, in RE4 Remake. <coughs> a maid's pantry. Mayhap a closer search will reveal something. Nothing? 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 There is nothing? There is a wind sound coming from somewhere. Ooh. Something festers inside this jar, the root of a plant. They have Iris will know more on it. Okay. Anything inside here? Here. Here. Nope. Nope. There's not inside this cabinet. Nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing here. By the way, you can actually strafe. The arrow keys are, you know, left, right, forward, backward. But you can actually strafe using the A and D keys. Originally, it was like W A S D used for move movement, but I think some people were a little bit confused. So I just reduced the instructions down to arrow keys move. Uh, but unfortunately, the strafe key, <coughs> the strafe functionality is just lost with just the arrow keys. But uh, just know that you can strafe with. Um, a and D. Just for convenience sake. 
pages are some sort bound to a wooded board. Their lettering is in English, but can I read? So I need to find a way to read. Uh, I'm illiterate as fuck. And the words in the book probably say something very important. Ooh, I got a golden servant bell within the table's box apron. That is another key item, I believe. This is a key item, too. Excite delirium and madness when consumed. Shaped like a human fetus. I can't eat this, can I? No, it's a key item. Lots of key items so far. Not entirely sure what it's used for. That's the other thing. Nothing else on this table? No? Okay. All right. So no closer to finding a bronze... A bronze key. But I did find that weird-looking orange thing. Let's take it to Iris and see what she says. Oh, rotted garlic. The girl points at something I missed on the counter. Those cups... Uh, oh, I've seen this dialogue already. It's about the teacup, right? Yeah. The mistress's teacup vanished. Have I ought to search the mistress's guest room? Okay, let's help her first because it seems like that's just some progress we can make there. Unless something's changed over here. No, still need the bronze key. Now, being that this, this is a static kind of graphic adventure, narrative fiction kind of thing, interactive fiction, uh, I have a health bar, but I haven't yet seen how anything can hurt me yet. Health 100 out of 100, I have my little Ari village, I'm sorry, Ari uh, Code Veronica health bar right there. All right, let's check out... She said the guest room, right? The mistress's guest room? Check out the guest room. Four teacups right there. Okay, can I grab it? I can! Alright, excellent. We can bring that back to Iris. I daren't disturb the table further lest I draw the maid's ire. What, her over there? Right, she still has the lip rouge that needs to be found. Still vanished from its sideboard. I've scoured the porchway outside for days. The porchway outside for days without luck. Then with that prop my soul to find it. Thou keep an unfeigned grief for want of thy mistress's graces alone. Uh, she's the one that is being pleasured and punished by her mistress here. I think we can more or less deduce that uh, our husband has left us in favor of getting freaky with these girls. Because we weren't giving him any. Uh, according to our... Uh, our religious laws. Okay, I got the teacup, so I can bring that back to Iris. This girl is saying something about... Uh, the porchway outside. So, I might as well go there and see what's, what's up. And grab another apple. I cannot. And these dudes, I don't think, are really offering anything... Beyond just being giddy little hepped up brothel boys. Okay, there's teacups there too, but I guess that's not the that's not the teacup that we want. Porchway outside. Wait, didn't they? Didn't the the shape over here say, "Come back to me if you need some help." Can thou help me further? The bronze key needed to unlock the long hallway center door is concealed in a hidden corridor. Oh, the long hallway, right. The three maids are the key. Aid them at their tasks. Okay, okay, so... Maybe speak to all of them again? I have the teacup for Iris, so let's uh, bring that back to her, but let's check out the porchway. This is the porchway, right? Outside. Unless there's another porchway. 
You have to wait for a contact point before you can interact. The black marker. Okay. I didn't search over here. I did not search over here. I should probably hurry before I freeze to death, too. Nothing along the railing here. Ooh, maybe in there? Uh huh. Something grows along the base of this cast. Fungus of some sort. That doesn't look like a lip rouge. Unless the mistress enjoys swabbing mushrooms to her lips. Okay. So the girl knows clearly far more than she's letting on. Down here? Anything down here? Where's the goat statue that I can shoot for a collectible? Uh, uh. A crimson colored object lies buried beneath the frozen dirt. What the? Whoa, I can grab multiple of them? Okay, that shouldn't happen. <laughs> There's a clear bug. Uh, so I found three lip rouges, so she should be three times as helpful. I'll patch that up. You didn't see that. You didn't see that. Okay. The breathing is making me nervous as holy hell. Something on this table. Basket of yarn sits undisturbed disturbed atop this table. Still bronze keyhole for this cupboard. All right, let's return the lip rouge and also the teacup to the maids. Do you have something you have to solve as well? Some task? My mistress is dying. Ah, she was looking for the bell. Okay. It's one of the rings. Uh, a dark azure gemstone set in a platinum band. Inscription reads, pull behind. Also a key item. Heed that band from my past folly. May it grant thy husband his due, lest his fancy go roving from thy bed to another's. Thou wouldst persist in this. Do as thou wilt. I say it for thy sake alone. Okay. So we're cool now, right? Are we cool? We're cool. Pages are also blank. So let's return the lip rouge to her, this black haired girl. And then return the teacup to Iris. Okay. How didst thou upon this? How didst thou upon three? She gives me another ring. Pitch black gemstone set in a platinum band inscription reads horse bronze. Wait. Pull behind horse bronze? Pull behind horse bronze. Uh, let's give the teacup back to Iris and see if that opens up anything. And also, we've, we've uh, found two items that say ask Iris for help, but we can't understand her yet. So maybe by returning this ring, we can understand her. Or returning this teacup, we can understand her. Oop, wa, bewitch. The sound indicates a key item. So she's got a ring too. All three of them got rings with inscriptions. Pull, horse, bronze, lever, key. Okay, pull behind horse bronze lever key. Pull horse lever behind bronze key. Okay, it's good to know. Uh, she points to a pot of, of water simmering over the stove. Boil ingredients together. Mandragora pantry shelf, sage courtyard outside in bush, moss fungus porchway outside in the barrel. Ah, we got those. Yeah, and just a, a little game dev tip. Sometimes it actually pays just to be kind of completely on the nose about it because clarity trumps witticism. 
Uh, absolutely. So just determine what your player's experience is supposed to be and do whatever it takes to achieve that. So I have the, I have this root, which I found in the pantry, right? And I also have this mushroom that I found outside the courtyard. So what was left? The little points to the pot of simmering, water simmering over the stove, boil ingredients together. The pantry shelf, the courtyard outside in the bush. Okay, and the moss fungus on the porch way outside. Okay, so it's the sage in the courtyard outside in the bush. Oil and some ingredients. Next. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I still haven't gotten a key, though. I haven't gotten a bronze key. I helped all three of them, but I haven't gotten anything yet in exchange for it, except for the rings. Nope. Oh. Ask her again. My oracle here. Can still help me further? The bronze key needed to unlock the long hallway cellar door lay concealed in a hidden corridor. The bronze lever in the mistress's bed chambers opens way- Oh, right, the, the horse lever. The horse lever inside of the bedroom. Okay, let's grab whatever thing, plant thing, I'm supposed to grab it from outside. The courtyard, right? The courtyard in the bushes. In the cold, cold bushes. This thing here? No, not, not those bushes over here. Some bushes over there. Oh, the railings seem not wrought from iron either. I can't search in the bushes? No, not there. Some bushes over here. Nope. 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 Push over here. Ah, over here. Something grows along the base of this shrub. An herb of some sort. She would know more on it. Okay, so that's the last ingredient, right? Okay, so let's pull the lever, the horse lever inside of the bedroom um, and then also give these ingredients to Iris. Hopefully one of them will yield a key. <coughs> Wait, the specter already told me. The corridor is hidden by a lever that you have to pull in the bedroom. So let's do that. So that's, that's progress. As opposed to just kind of getting stuff. I mean, there's clearly not any ammunition or weapon counters here. You didn't see that. All right, let's pull this thing. Pull the lever. I shall. Something has activated somewhere. I can pull it again. The lever will not budge any further. The knob's inscription reads book fall. So that's the room with all the books. Right? Nothing left on here. I still can't go through here. But there's cl something clearly hidden behind that fireplace. Judging from the sound effect. So there's quite a number of things locked by a bronze key. So once I get the bronze key, there's a ton of stuff I have to go back and grab. Um, let's go to Iris first. Uh, dump off this uh, stuff. The girl points to the pot of simmering water over the stove. Over there. Boil ingredients together. Mandragora, pantry, courtyard outside in the bushes, moss fungus, porchway outside in the barrel. Okay. So I can boil this stuff here, right? I can allow now <clears throat> the root, the fungus, and the sage into the pot to stew. Pour the ingredients in. I pour the brew from the ingredients. 
Uh, ah, okay. A foul scented potation brewed from an extract of earthen ingredients. I can use it. I can use these, can I? No, these are key items. Drink the tincture. The elixir has granted you the ability to read books and comprehend all types of languages. I can understand her now. I can understand you now. Books of all kinds thou canst now also read. Cool. Ah, oh, she's giving me the locations of them. Two in the study room. Two in the second floor. Two in the dining room. The study room. The second floor. Two in the dining room. One in the mistress's guest room. One in her bedchamber. Two in the book vault. And two in the darkened hall. That's a lot of books. Okay, let's check out the the book vault first because that lever said that it had an inscription that said book vault. So let's check that out first. One of the rear bookshelves has moved. Uh-oh. Book 11 of 12, in time Lucifer came to so fear the succubi's power that he had little choice but to entreat with their queen. He gave unto them dominion over earth, sky, and sea, wherever the hearts of men sought respite and nepenthe from their woes. Aha, uh -huh, the books tell of lore. There's another book right here somewhere, right? Right, two in the book vault. There are two books in the book vault. Uh, book 12, uh, 10 of 12, not all succubi are so parasitic in nature. Many form symbiotic relationship with their hosts. The first recorded benign succubus was the lover of the mathematician and scholar uh, Gerbert, who would later come to rule the papal states as Pope Sylvester II in 1999 AD. His ardent relationship with the benign succubus Lady Muradiana was said to be intellectually stimulating during daytime and epidermal during evenings. Okay, so... Even the the Vatican is in league with this harem. <laughs> the bookshelf is locked by gold people. Still haven't found the golden key. Uh, but I can go through here. Right. The hidden corridor of dolls. A bronze key. All right. Now we're making some crit path progress. A spherical impression remains where the key was set as if something else was once sat here. Ah, I reached for a false plank in the wall behind the dolls. Now, chemical crystal... I need this to open a crap ton of crap. Now, chemical crystal carved from lavender aracite and inscription reads, Heavenly Army Umbral Skies. I can use it. I cannot use this object on its own. Mayhap its inscription holds the key. This will activate automatically, right? Yeah. Nothing else here, though. Anything else here? Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Oh. oh I ducked down. That's the bandages. A crawl space covered by bandage swats. Their fabric is too thick to be unwoven by hand. I need something to cut through them. Scissors right there. I've noticed that in many more recent Resident Evil games that have puzzles where you need something to pass through and like the item is right there. And I understand now it's because they want you to solve the puzzle. They don't want you to spend too much time puzzle solving because that's not the experience that Resident Evil is going for anymore. I mean, that RE Village and RE3 Remake was going for. So I can't open that. I can't open this, though. The hat is Henry's. How did it come to be in this dresser? Worn by English separatists who settled Plymouth Colony. So I can clearly go through this door now, but I know that that's the breach path. Once I get past that point, uh, the game moves into the, the next stage. So let's not do that yet. Let's grab everything that we can that is related to a bronze key. Ah. 
All right, there was a dresser here, right? An amulet of some sort who could belong to. A cerulean gemstone set in a silver chain, a treasured keepsake, an inscription reads Mother Mia. Also a key item. There's a lot of key items. Perhaps more than anyone can keep track of. But they activate automatically, so... That's one thing, yet they are integral to solving puzzles, so I can see how that can be confusing if there are too many of them. Here, there's some stuff that can, like, oh, there's a book here. Book 7 of 12. At the height of its power, the Vatican established many secret military orders under its sovereignty to put the succubus to rout. The Holy Austrian Imperial Order Commission, the Templar of the Silver Spur, the Sisterhood of the Temple of St. Mary of Jerusalem, but to name a few. These and other organizations were chartered by devout warriors sworn to an oath of absolute chastity. Right, so you have to, I guess you have to read the books in order for all that stuff to make sense. Golden key. Still don't have a gold key, though. Oh. I found a brooch inside this cupboard. The maid watches as I take the brooch, but makes no effort to stop me. Another key item. A marine themed jewel once worn by a vile temptress that emits an otherworldly glow. I'm carrying all this stuff in my person, Hal. Right, there was some stuff in here, too. Locked by bronze. No, this was something else. There are three recesses where three colored books once sat. It's the chest right here. Golden ring inside this cupboard. The maid watches from the doorway as I take the ring, but makes no effort to stop me. A evil band gifted as a symbol of an eternal bond with its bear. It's, if it's, uh, it, its fit matches my finger. However, I can use it. That is a a warning of a bad ending. Potential bad ending or an alt ending. You know what? Let me save my game up until this point. Forgot about that. Can't pull this any further. Nothing left there. That is absolutely a maiden's shadow. Nope. So I have a bronze key. I have a bronze key and I can also read books and talk to Iris. So I can now reach the end of the game, technically, but that's 100% everything. Bronze should be able to open... I can read this now. I can't open this though, right? Yeah. Uh, the Middle Ages of Europe especially had become a time of intolerable sexual frustration and obsession. In its attempt to eradicate sin by means of enforced sexual repression, the Christian Church inadvertently created fertile ground for the rebirth of the dormant old religion on which the succubus thrived. So this succubus seems like it's a creature that thrives off of sexual desire or sexual repression. This guy's still the same. Entrance, false cupboard, false bottom. Still giggling. Entrance, cupboard, false bottom. Right, there was a cupboard there that was also locked by a bronze key. Uh, tons of stuff. Okay, there's another book here. The succubus and the opure vampire share a common heritage, though their lineages are distinct. The succubus can birth another just as vampires birth their kin through consummate vows and unholy bonds of blood. Lands plagued by the succubus oft come under, came under the jurisprudence of their respective religious organizations in an effort to expel the creatures. So, I'm finding more tomes and I am reading more tomes. Many casts lay neatly on top of each other. A bottle of cider sits inside this dresser. Thou shalt look upon our welcome here only to thy woe. More threats after I helped you. Damn, girl. So, I have quite a number of things. Quite a number. Mother Mia. So, 
Spicy sweet tart cider that has been fermented for long storage. Restores 50 health. Well, I suppose I can just use... I can just save my game first and then use this. But uh, let's uncover as much stuff as we can first. Uh, this cupboard right here, that's right. An object lies beneath the false bottom of the drawer. A, prim a primitive effigy of a sea maiden carved from snake wood. An inscription reads, Nether Army Dark Oceans. I can use it. I cannot use this object on its own. Mayhap its inscription holds the key. Hmm. Okay, let's, uh, actually, let's talk to you first. Once again. Pray search the manor's shelves for 12 books and heed their words. Two in the study room to the right, two in the second floor above us, two in the dining room ahead. So there's 12 total. The study room to the right, two in the second floor above us, two in the dining room ahead, one in the mistress's guest rooms, one in her bedchambers, two in the book vault, and two in the darkened hallway. Their knowledge will further help them. Okay, so let's go uncover some stuff, but also find the book. So she said, what was it here? The study room to the right, the second floor above us, and the two in the dining room. Okay. The study room to the right is over here. A succubus appears in mortals' dreams to seduce and feed on them. It is often men who are their prey, but women are no exception to their hunger. She oft takes the shape of a beautiful maiden with pe peculiar deformities visible across her body, but will shape herself to your heart's greatest desire. No mortal can resist her charms. Okay, not more pages to be read. Can you say anything new? Lapis amulet, rose amulet. His dialogue's changed. Short hallway dresser, long hallway golden shelf. Damn. So he's got stuff to find too. Wait. Lapis amulet, rose amulet. I think I found the lapis amulet? I did. Mother Mia. Oh, that's cute. Mia, the Duke, Ari Village. So there's one more amulet to find. Um... Rose amulet. The short hallway in the dresser, that's where I opened the dresser with a bronze key. And the golden shelf requires the gold key, which I don't have yet. All right, as far as the books, though, um, here's the second book. Book one of 12. This is the first one. The ancient Buddhist religions of the East reverence prayer to Avro Kivarasa, who protected them from demons who make love to mortals in their dreams. Pre-Islamic Arabia spoke of the uh, Karinath that seduces men in their nightmares. Such was also in African myths of shamans visited by a temptress in their dreams and would find themselves exhausted as they awaken. All speak of the same creature that has beset mankind since its dawn, the succubus. Okay, let me save my game. Very convenient. I can save my game at any time. So I have so far found 10 books, read 7 of them. So, okay, let's just focus on one thing. Um, she also said the level above us, right? There's, uh, there's, there's two books up there as well. What? what? No, same, same basket of yarn. So there's a level above us right here. You got new dialogue too. Come hither to my, onto my lap, child, to be merry. Yeah, this guy's got pedophile written all over his face. And probably the succubus is indulging in that. What we've seen, is this a book here? No? No? Uh, there's a book over here. The male counterpart and kith to the succubus is the incubus. Union with an incubus was believed to result in the birth of witches, demons, and deformed human offspring. This union, however, oft granted the offspring powers of divinity. Wizards such as the magician Merlin and the alchemist Nicholas Flamel, Harry Potter, were said to have been fathered by an incubus. That's another book here. Yeah, I, I found this book before, but I now read it. Nuns still seem a bed here. 
this was this was also locked by a bronze keyhole. The boots! I found the boots of Henry. How did they come to be in this drawer? So I found articles of his clothing. Here's the boots. They were found inside of a dresser in the guest quarters. Also a key item. Um, I found various articles of his clothing. Yeah. But I found only one book. So where's the other book? It's not here. It's not here. It's inside this thing. Oh, it's right here. Books behind a bust. A succubus requires the consent of her host to build her nest in their dreams. Though her true shape is that of a specter, she can enter the mortal realm as a simulacrum of the woman she was in her past life. Those she fed upon would waken in a state of languor and palsy to no respite from their memories of bedding the creature the night before. Repeated sexual activity with her can lead to poor physical and mental health and even death, but she will often make every effort to keep her host alive for need of their life force. So, again, these books and lore is all optional, but um, let's just see if we can find them all just based off of the, the hints that are given. Okay, you said what? 12 books. We found the two in the study. We found the two in the second floor above us, and we found the two in the dining room, right? I think. There's one in the mistress's guest room. There's one in the bedchamber. There's two in the book vault, which is the the book library with lots of blank pages, and two in the darkened hallway. Okay, guest room, bedchamber, book vault, hallway. This is the dining room ahead, but I think we found this two already, right? Yeah, we read this already. here middle ages of europe oh it's the same book yeah so two here okay i don't think there are any books in this hallway wait i don't think no no okay um there's i think there's supposed to be two here somewhere there's tons of books here nay thou juice thy lady art mine alone to cherish He'll never lay a hand upon her so long as I draw breath. You're drunk. You're drunk and you're deranged in your tea. Your milk tea. The wretch, he covers the other man's wife. Oh, that's the way it is, huh? Um, yeah, here was one of the books. We read this one already. Yeah, they found in many military religious orders to fight these creatures. Led by people that were sworn to absolute virginity. I see. Uh, book here. Now this one's still locked by a golden keyhole. Nothing there. Nothing. Nothing there. Nothing there. Uh, there was the bedroom. That's right. Um, not there. Not here. This one was the three colored books on the uh, the shelf. I searched that already. Can't pull this any further. Some books on the shelf. Uh, this desk right there. The succubus' greatest power in subduing her host is called eternal bonding. Upon wearing her ring, you become her winning puppet, and any resistance will result in a pain more agonizing than death. Even Lucifer's mightiest legions were said to have been driven to their knees as a result of their generals bending to the succubi's will in this manner. So I found a ring in this room, this thing right here. So that's probably what that leads to, a pain worse than death. So let's hold off on the pain worse than death for the time being. And let's find the remaining books. Nothing left there. Where else did it say? Um, let's go back. So we found, we found, we read 12 and we found 11. So there's always gonna be like one left that we didn't find. So, will be useful here. Perhaps there are too many books. Search for the 12 books and heed their words. Although this is all optional, so that's somewhat excusable. However, I do want people to find it, so maybe making too many books will hinder their search or their desire to search. 
Two in the study room to the right, we found those. Two on the second floor above us, we got that. Two in the dining room ahead, we got that. The guest room, we got that. The bed chamber, we got that. Two in the book vault. The book vault and two in the darkened hallway. The darkened hallway. Their knowledge. Okay, so the book vault and the darkened hallway. Uh, the book vault is right over here. Yeah, thank God this level is not like super sprawling because I think the puzzles by themselves are quite involved. So this is the book vault with tons of uh, books with blank pages. These blank also? Blank pages, blank pages, blank pages, blank pages. I think this whole shelf is full of blank pages. Here? Nope, blank pages. Uh, not. No, that's the painting. Environment. No, same thing. So, uh, there's some books on this table, but I don't think that's that's it. No. Strange effects line about the desk. There's these books. I remember. Uh, in time, Lucifer came to review the succubus. We read this already. Not all succubi are so parasitic in nature. We read this one too. So we found everything here in this book vault. Um, I still haven't found something to cut through this though. But I recognize that hallway in the back. Is this a shortcut? There's a very thin mist covering this place. Let's see if Iris has anything new to say. Books of all kinds thou canst now also read. Two in the study, two in the second floor, two in the dining room, two in the second floor. Okay, so she's just repeating this stuff. The dining room. Um, the two in the book vault, the two in the darkened hallway. Two in the darkened hallway. This hallway? There's no books here. Wait, so how many have I found so far? I've found 11 and I only read 10. This darkened hallway? There's some books right here. Didn't even see this. Upon his deathbed, Gerbert confessed before the Holy Office of Inquisition to having relations with a succubus. He screamed Christ's name at the moment of his death, although those who bore witness to the renouncement claimed the devil, who also speaks in scripture, had taken hold of him in his, ever, his last breath. Did I read that before? I didn't. Oh, I found all 12 now, but I haven't read all of them yet. So there's supposed to be two here, she said, right? Here? Or do I have to cut those bandages or No, I found that. Oh, there's a bookshelf right here. It's... This is the yeah, the crawl space. I can't get through it. Book twelve. For every desire that mortals deign to sate, there exists a succubus who would ingratiate him. Their legions, which number three, span from the seven seas to the twenty-seven heavens. Mifa the Azure, Harla the Swell, whose mandate is the dark oceans of the sea. Listen to the sable heritor of sin, whose mandate is the black sands of the earth. Iris, the violet fay of the harpies, whose mandate is the umbral skies of the heavens. They and their ilk serve their mistress, the succubus queen Lilith, first wife to Adam, the carnal duchess, consort of obscenity, and proprietress of the first nation, whose mandate in dominion is all mankind. Oh. I got the gold key. Okay, so it's gotten by reading all these books. So I found all 12 and I read all 12. Awesome. I have not yet faced any direct threats to my health just yet.
So, with the gold key, a couple of things actually open up to us. Um, all those gold shelves, which I found, um... Okay, I found them all. I found them all. Thank you. Uh, there was some stuff over here. I got this one. I got this one. So, this one's gold, right? An amulet of some sort of sits wedged between the books. Who could it belong to? Rose amulet. All right, we got to return that to the big boy. Rose amulet and... Lapis amulet. Many tomes of a bygone era line the shelves. Not else of interest remains to be read. There was a gold shelf here as well. Right? The peculiar purple book on the shelf reveals itself. Is it? Okay. Tome of Ashes, a tome written in Old French titled Lucifer's Heavenly Army of the Umbral Skies. Its cover is bound by a magic seal. If I can use this. A magic seal bounds its cover and cannot be undone. May happen artifact can undo the seal. I can use it, but I can't open it. Oh, this thing unlocks it. All right, purple, purple. If I can use this. The magic glyphs bounding the book's cover have vanished. Oh, it's now open. And once again, this is all optional. But um, just for the sake of completion, I want to make it as clear as possible for those of you who are trying to 100% as well. Lucifer's Heavenly Army of the Umbral Skies. One of the three historical accounts of the succubus. I can use this. The benign succubus Meridiana flees Austria in search of refuge at the height of its crusade against the Ottoman Empire. It was in a Styrian town east of Gusing along the Hungarian border that the Temple of the Silver Spur, a descendant branch of the centuries disbanded Ten Knights Templar, traced her whereabouts. Scores of innocent women were put to death in their attempt to put the creature to rout, yet she evaded capture at every turn. As the Templar's swords drew closer to finding their mark, a fellow sister in their employ, uh, Ersabet Tolfia, Seduced by the creature, turned her blade against the Templar before setting fire to the town. Uh, Ersabet was proclaimed an expiable heathen by the Holy See of the Vatican soon thereafter and was seen escorting the creature, who by that time had become her lover, eastward toward Wallachia. That's some um, Transylvania shit right there. That's some Castlevania stuff right there. Straight out of Netflix. Okay, so all of this seems to be revolving around this creature that seduces people in their dreams and twist them to their will. I'll save that. Uh, got the bro Okay, I got the bronze key, so I can't go through that door, but I don't want it yet. We got 100% at first. Got this, right? Okay. So, with the golden key, I can now open more things. Um, let's check all the rooms again. This is very RE, by the way. Like, reiterating through rooms over and over as you get more items. Like, clicking on every little thing. Uh, this guy is still being a covetous little bastard. Uh, still can't go through here. There, uh, yes, this right here. The peculiar black book on the shelf reveals itself. This one has a magic seal as well. An artifact can undo the seal. Um, can I use this to undo it? No. This is a key item. It'll be triggered automatically, but there's something else I can use to unlock it. Can I unlock it with a no, that's key item also? Mermaid statue, nether army, dark oceans. The inscription holds the key. Nether Army Dark Oceans. Earthly Army of the Black Sand. So I don't think I can open this yet. 
Um, gold key, gold key, and gold key here. Three colored books. Ah, those three colored books I just found. So that'll open up some more stuff. And nothing else here. This is still stuck. We read this. Okay, there was more gold keyhole stuff. I think in this room too. Right, there was a, a keyhole of gold on this shelf. Right. A blue book. A pewter blue book on the shelf reveals itself. Nothing else? Nothing else? Um, okay, I got three books already. I got the three books. A tome written in Middle English titled Lucifer's Nether Army of the Dark Oceans. Its cover is bound by a magic seal. All three of these books seem like they're covered... They're bound by a magic seal. Use this. Uh -huh. So I unlocked that. One of the three historical accounts of the succubus. Gotta find something that'll unlock that thing, though. The knight, during the late 11th century, the noble English knight Leon Belmont. No relationship to Leon Belmont from Castlevania, by the way. Since he's been redacted by Lords of Shadow. During the 11th century, okay, he first encountered the succubus while searching for his betrothed. She was whisked away by the Opur, Walter Bernhard, to his castle. Before reaching the castle's throne room, Leon was confronted by the succubus taking the guise of his beloved Sarah Trantul. Leon slew the creature with a whip blessed by alchemy and rescued Sarah only to learn that she had been bitten by Walter and hence turned into a creature of the night in the succubus stead. Rather than succumb, Sarah volunteered to sacrifice her life to empower the whip with magic needed to defeat Walter. Leon would venture forth into the castle to defeat Walter once and for all, and thenceforth swore his clan would hunt the succubus for eternity until every last one was vanquished. Okay. All about the succubus, huh? You say anything new? In Amsterdam, there lived a maiden she was mistress of her trade. I'll go no more roving with... Oh, it's the sailor song! Okay, okay, I'll just leave you to your, your singing and your apples and your tea. The necklaces, we gotta return to the Duke. And let's see if this um, shadow here has anything left to say. Tis all the aid I can rent thee for the time. <gasps> I get another apple. Why do you help me? Let not my reason concern thee. Know only that none save thee alone can wrest thy husband from the creature's grasp. Another three tomes lie concealed behind, behind golden shelves. Each book bound by a magic seal thou must also find to unlock them. One in the dining room, another in the guest room, the third in the book vault, and long hallway. Their knowledge will further aid thy search. Okay, we found the three books though. So I guess we can put the three books onto that shelf. But also, let's return... Uh, let's return the... Those things to the, the duke. Plump boy. I got the... Yeah, I got these things. I can drink that. Lapis, okay. He gives me something in exchange for the amulets. Oh, give me this orb. Now, chemical crystal car from Viridian Aracide. An inscription reads, Earthly Army Black Sand. The magic glyphs bounding the book's cover have vanished. Ah, oh, so now all three of the books have been opened. So this is the last one. One of the three historical accounts of the succubus. A melancholy English girl, Laura Morgan, residing in a remote schloss in Lower Syria, dreams one night of the opera crawling into her bed. The insatiable creature anagrammatically known by the name Carmilla curries favor with Laura by means of an ardent romance that leaves the maiden utterly spellbound to the creature's charms. Vampire? It is soon after that Laura falls ill with symptoms of languor and palsy. Upon learning uh, Carmilla's true nature, Laura's father, Colonel Morgan of the Hathberg Reserve Officer Corps, journeys for the ruins of Karnstein, where the creature laid to rest by day and drives a stake of silver through her heart. 
But despite the Colonel's best efforts, Carmilla's shade leaves its mark on Laura each night, and in time the ghost succumbs to become a creature's the creature's nightly whisper to become a succubus herself. Hmm. This tome is dated 1798. The events foretold in these pages have yet to occur. Oh. Huh. All right, so what do we got? Um, we got these these three books. We got the golden key. I think we found everything that the golden key unlocks. We still have the bronze key. I think we found... We unlocked everything? All right, that's, that's done. That was found the three colored tomes and sealed their magics. I but I'm still no closer to finding Henry. And if the words written in the books speak true of the creatures, I fear he is taken beyond my reach. She gave me a... What? The silver band on your finger gleams in the light. Do not despair. Thy beloved salvation and thine draws nearer with each tome read. Truly, how? The secret is writ within another tome concealed elsewhere in the mistress's bedchamber. I am not one for thy riddles. Pray reveal thyself and lend me thy hand. I am sorry. I can speak no more on the matter. Thou must uncover this truth for thyself. So we can also now return those three books to the shelf inside the, the bedroom. I can still grab something still here. Oh, I can grab a dinner knife from the table. Oh, couldn't grab it before. Maybe a certain breach point had to trigger before I could grab it. Let's save that. So, clearly there's a bunch of stuff that I've gotten. And I'm kind of just following along the path of the next riddle that's being presented to me. But clearly there's stuff here that I've gotten that it's not apparent exactly what its use is or how it's significant yet. So that could potentially be confusing. But hopefully if the puzzles are kind of guiding you, like here's this puzzle, here's the next puzzle, then it'll be enough to kind of keep you focused. So I found all the books. I read all the books, which is great. You're still... Yep. You're still you. Can't grab anything off of this shelf, this table. Uh, I have multiple lip rouges as a result of that bug, so I'm not going to talk to you again. Uh, okay, I can, lay the, I can lay it on here, right? On this thing. I set the three tomes I have found onto the shelf. Another book reveals itself. The maid watches from the doorway as I take the book. She appears for a moment utterly terrified. Tomes from every corner of the world line the shelves. Not else of interest remains to be read. I daren't disturb them any further lest I draw the mistress's ire. Still haven't seen the mistress. I know of her. Uh, finely crafted platinum cutlery. Its serrated edge is only sharp enough for basic cutting, so I can't use it as a weapon. It's a key item as well. And scriptures of Judas, a librum penned by a disciple of Jesus Christ. It is written in ancient Aramaic, which I can use and read. I opened the book found among the tomes in the mistress's bedchamber and began to leaf through its pages. The words were written in ancient Aramaic script, and many pages lay torn or missing throughout. Judging from the faded ink, this tome was undoubtedly written in a bygone age many centuries past. I relied heavily on the polyglot granted unto me to decipher the writing. It seems the words penned were by the hand of Judas Iscariot. The same Judas? Judas. My mind drew a blank. Then I recognized the name to belong to the very same Judas among Christ's twelve disciples, who kissed his master's cheek the day ere betraying him to the Roman Empire. So it's a book written by Judas. 
I could scarcely believe a Librum penned by his hand now rests in, my, uh, in rest in mine. But why would this tome have found its way to the mistress's vaults, I wonder? Very good question. How unprepared I was to learn the truth as I turned the page. I thought this tome a collection of Christ's teachings bequeathed unto his disciple, but this tome appears to be an account of our Savior's life, more rather a detailed account of his birth in Bethlehem. Even as a babe in my mother's arms, my belief in Christ as a true Lord Son of our Heavenly Father laid unshaken, her psalms of his glory and salvation were the light in our darkness. To this day, I believed his, his alone the kingdom. All I had held to be unbending in his word were laid to ruin upon reading this tome. Judas wrote of him, Jesus was not a child of God, but a seed sired by the loins of a succubus kith, an incubus who had bedded the virgin. Such were also words uttered from the lips of the child's earthly adoptive father, Joseph, who bore witness to the miracle that night. Children sired are birthed from the union of a succubus kith and its hosts oft exhibit powers of divinity beyond those of mortals. Hence the tales of heavenly miracles performed by our Savior's hands were not unfounded. Judas, in truth, served as the empire's employ, as an inquisitor to collect evidence of the succubi's activities in the region, the very creature that visited Emperor Tiberius in his bed chambers, much to the ire of his wife, Julia. The inquisition by Judas was at her behest, in hopes of gaining further sway over her husband's dominion that was all of Rome. In time, Christ's true father was uncovered, as was the succubi's weakness. Uh, Judas forged fetters of iron and silver to bound the creature to the empress's will. Nails of blessed iron were forged to bound Christ as well onto the cross, and a silver-tipped lance pierced his side as he hung upon it. Oh shit, so Jesus was born from one of these creatures. All escape from the tome imbues your silver band with its magic. Wait, so a band gifted as a symbol of marriage, so my ring turned into a blessed silver ring, imbued with magics that render one impervious to the succubi's influence. Automatically, okay. Okay, that's all of that. All right, is there anything else to uncover? I think that's it, actually. I think that's it. I think I've exhausted everything. I found all the books. I've gotten all the the three colored books. And I have found the mysterious final book. So all that's left is to... I guess... Go through the door. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So... Let's first do this, but save it first. Lest this triggers some kind of alternate really bad ending. I wish to wear the mistress's ring. I remove the silver band from my finger and fit the mistress's ring in its stead. The band coils around my palm like a serpent. I feel warm? Come hither, child. Thou hast worn my ring and conjured me. <laughs> you are the mistress the maid spoke of. Speak thy heart's desire. What canst thou give? I am already under her spell? Wouldst thou like a pretty dress, the taste of chocolate and honey? <laughs> Wouldst ah. thou like to suckle the nectar from my bosom forever? Hard to say no to that. Wow. What would you of me in return? Dost thou see the fire before thee? Remove thy petticoat and cast it upon the flames. I took off my clothes? You cast your shift upon the fire and stand naked before the mistress. Thou hast found my raiments. I shall dress thee. The mistress's bare hands fasten her brooch to your neck your mantle to your shoulders and lace the bodice. That was the point of it. When you gather all of those items, the clothing items of the, the succubus or the mistress, that was the point of it. So that she can dress you in her clothing. 
<laughs> we are now coven child. Our blood roses on mortal's grave. My every joy and sorrow be thine to cherish forever. Thou art free of thy feathers. Go upon the world. Pleasures unknown thou shalt reap as men sow. Ere long thou shalt know ecstasy deeper still. Oh. There's more? Warmth and bliss. Such ecstasy this form. Sensations unknown I relish. Wait, what? I can't access my inventory. My mistress bade me go too. I can leave? <laughs> Try onward to Plymouth? <laughs> So much more, all the world yonder beckons me. Okay, so there's one ending. Thankfully we saved. Uh, save game, shift to load game. All right, so ship one. So, um, that, that's the point of that. If you wear this, you trigger that ending. And getting these items, um, yeah, the corset, the mantle, uh, this is his hat, Henry's hat, yeah. And this thing seems like that was the point to... To allow her to dress you in her clothing. So we can go through the the bronze. Um, what is it? The the bronze door now to get to the end. But let's talk to this ghost to see what more it is that we can uncover. The ban on thy finger and the scriptures. How didst thou upon them? The words written in this book. Are they true? Are they? I cannot say if they are fact. I only know that Librum in thy hand to be authentic. How dost know thou know such a thing? Wilt thou still not show thy face and tell me thy name? In bygone days, I served as counsel and confidant to many learned men of the holy office of the sea. Many feared the existence of that book, and the same is no doubt true of thy governors in Plymouth. Mayhap, for reasons that all contained within the pages are fact. In bygone days, thou art then. I but borne witness to the creature's accounts across the ages of the bladesmen who put them to rout, and the many who renounced their faith upon learning the truth of the creature's writ within those scriptures with their own eyes. But the fact remains, the creatures feed upon man's soul to sate their own lust. Is that not truth as well? They but hunger on man's lust as he his daily bread and broth. There is corruption among their ilk, yes, but there are also many good that giveth unto man's succor from his woes, and they are not few. My beloved Gerber, dearest Ersabit. Oh, the girl that burned the entire town to the ground. The creature they lay with bequeathed unto them all the joy and sorrow that mortals cherish. And yet they knew no sorrow in their final days. Their desire to learn the truth was ere stronger than their faith had ever been. Lady Meridiana. Let not such trifles weigh upon thee now, dear lady. The mistress and her coven are thy adversary, not I. You are a succubus too? Oh, but you're a good one. You're a good succubus. You satisfy people for all the right reasons. With that blessed silver band upon thy finger, thou canst save thy Henry yet. Oh, okay. So that's... That's like the sum of that. Okay, so let's, let's just finish off the game by going through the bronze door the bronze uh the door with the bronze keyhole to the cellar because i don't think there's anything else i can grab no in 
anything else from you? Nope, nothing more from you. Nothing more on this table. Uh, read all the books. Found all the books. You discovered Christ's ungodly secret. So I think we're we're good. To reach this final end. The specter slithers from the shadow of the cellar's doorway and envelops me. I feel warm. Where am I? Who? Come hither, child. <laughs> you are the mistress the maids spake of. Thou hast conjured me in thy sleep. She knocked me out? Speak thy heart's desire. Wouldst thou like a pretty dress, a taste of chocolate and honey? <laughs> ah. <laughs> That's a hard thing to resist. Wouldst thou like to suckle the nectar from my bosom forever? Forever? Hmm. To be coveted by all. To weep with such pleasure from all things each delight thy ecstasy. Speak thy wish. I wish only my Henry to me again. To be as godly and brave a wife as to he. I beg my hands at thy, that prayer which Christ himself hath taught me. The blessed silver ring upon your finger repels the mistress's presence. Oh shit, did I kill her? I am awakened. To thwart my blessing so, thou wilt only see thy misery and husband's washed away in bitter tears. I must have uh, from here at once. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Oh, by the way, just for 100% completion's sake, I'll just tell you right now, there is a secret. I'll leave this for you to uncover it yourself, but there's a secret inside this cabinet right here. And also, this cabinet right here. If you hit it, hit confirm enough times. I'll grab the other one. Plenty of time for Easter eggs. A false cover behind the door the cabinet conceals something. There's my contribution to the video game world and history. That VGM absolutely amplifies this one. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Ah, ha, ha. What are they doing? Little gestures menacing at you? Do not look up too much upon this, milady. Uh, my mistress doth bade me stop thee here. Your blessed silver band repels her presence. Ah, I see. I can talk to her, though. I must from here where she regained her strength. So, this ring makes me invulnerable. Let's get the hell out of here. Whither could they have taken him? The fireplace! You! look too much upon this. I shall. I shall. My blessed silver band makes me invulnerable and godlike. Don't look into the Death Star, you will die. That's uh, a cute little reference to Simon's Quest. That's right, I added this as an Easter egg as well. Burn the wickedness to naught. Holy chain forge in Romania, once wielded by a clan of hunters to seal away evil. I can use it. What is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets! Okay. Into the... Into the crawl space we go. Ah, so this is where he's been hanging out. It's a long tunnel. 
point downward. His eyes look upon mine, but he does not hear my words. He is stripped of his clothes. The clothes that we found in all the cupboards. We return Henry's rosary to him. Yes, husband, I am here. We must from this place at once. I am not to the task. I lay before thee, be mired in shame and naked as a babe. But I have your clothes, right? You return Henry's clothes to him. Listen, me, wife. I have been a, a false husband to thee. I wallow in thy feet from the filth of lust. Let us speak more on it when we are returned home from, from this place. Aye. That band on thy finger. The very same thou gifted me on our wed day. Uh, the guilt's gotten to him, huh? I did never wish to be a shrew to thee in thy bed, Henry. I've ever let my faith thee as a cruel master to deny thee thy husband's due. As I have damned us, dispose me of thou wilt. Must remember I love you. Uh, you are your, my husband and never my foe. Thou needn't be thine own foe neither in this, or despair of forgiveness. What new misery or joy we find, we will find it together. Let us away, love. All right, so clearly that was the the best possible outcome because there's a resolution with uh, on his side, but uh, on my side as well. We must away from this place. Get the hell out of here! She attacks you every single time you come into this area. Silver, baby. Okay. So we can now leave. Let's get the hell out of here. Of course, there's you as well. You, you, me, me. Uh, do you say anything? Do you give me anything? Pray this day be merry. Uh, no thank you. No thank you. I'm leaving now. Let's say goodbye. My husband is found and well, I am glad. God give you haste from this matter. Hurry now. Okay, what about the Duke? Does this anything new? He thanks me. He chooses to stay, but he thanks me for giving him the peace that he has so long been searching for. Uh, anything else in here? Gotta, oh, gotta leave. So that's the end, right? Uh, let's save it just in case. So that's the end. husband and you have escaped the house. Yeah, I think I found everything. Everything there is to find. So just some final thoughts. Um, if I were playing this just blind for what it is being a graphic adventure or an interactive like novel or interactive narrative kind of experience, my honest feelings would be that this is a bit ambitious. Um, like it's, it's almost like the ambition of the game is far greater than the actual technical execution of the game. Like there was clearly a lot of key items to be found. Yes, they were triggered automatically, but the issue was that since there were quite a number of key items to be found and puzzles to be solved as a result of that, but some of the key items were not necessarily it wasn't apparent exactly how they were used. Like, for example, if you come across a door with a lock with a spade, uh, a spade shape, then you know that you have to find a key with uh, a spade key, for example, or you come across a square hole that fits a crank. Well, once you find the crank, then you can unlock this area. There were key items here that you found, but it wasn't 100% clear as to what you did with them. Now, since they were triggered automatically, I guess that's not so much of an issue, but 
But as far as like traversal and solving puzzles and stuff, it can be a bit overwhelming and a bit confusing because you're solving one puzzle, okay, and then you come across another key item. It's not apparent exactly what you do with it. And so what this relies on a lot is the game giving you the puzzles and then you solving the puzzles in that kind of moment. You know, like you found the you found the bronze key and then now you can go through the cellar. But then at the same time, you come across these books and it says, here are the locations of the books. Well, am I supposed to keep going forward with the bronze key and then going through that door? Or do I keep looking for the books? Is it clear which is optional, which is required? I wouldn't necessarily say so. So I can see how some people could be led to believe that, oh, I have to get all the optional stuff in order to, or they can confuse the optional stuff with the, the required stuff. As far as the required stuff, it actually wasn't much. It was basically, what was it? It was helping the three maids and then you get like a ring for each one of them for finding their, uh, an item that they were missing. And then you can now trigger the, the bronze lever, the horse lever that will open up the corridor. You get the bronze key and then you can more or less just go through the door and then that's kind of like the end. And that's absolutely legitimate. I spent about the total amount of time to 100% this was about an hour 30, 90 minutes. You could totally speed run this. You finish within maybe 20 or 25 something minutes, but the game gives you quite a lot. And granted, those things are optional. Like all the stuff in the books is completely optional. It's very ambitious because the, the, the level layout is roughly the same as it was in House Beneviento, the House Beneviento campaign of Resident Evil Village. Now, granted, that was like in full 3D, but that area didn't have a lot of puzzles. It was really more of like a, a horror experience, like a very guided horror experience with a couple little horror puzzles like kind of sprinkled in there. The scissors, the tweezers, the film reel, and the, the key that goes down all the way to the well and such. This is really more about the puzzling experience than it is about the horror experience. And of course, learning about the succubus and such. This is a game that would benefit a lot from being like a fully realized, like free movement 3D environment and perhaps removing a couple of the optional things, the optional puzzles. If you're into this kind of game and you're into the kind of like mist, right? You're going from one place to the next and um, finding items and then reiterating. That's the big thing. Reiterating through places and through talking to people that you've already talked to, that's a very much more classic Resident Evil thing. And we've gotten away from that, I would say, ever since Resident Evil 4. There was quite a bit of that in the original Resident Evil and also in Resident Evil 2, where you find something and then you have to go back and then to a previous room or talk to a previous person and then that will unlock something new. We've gotten away from a lot of that reiteration. So it's a much more kind of guided experience. Um, it's not inherently better or worse. I just think it's different. Whether or not you are going to fully uncover everything like I did, I think that really comes down to how interested you are in just like solving puzzles as they come up. The gameplay aspect is, its ambition is farther than the actual technical execution that allowed for it to exist, would be my final verdict for this game. All right, guys, thank you so much once again for supporting me in this. Originally, I thought it was more for like my writing skills within this narrative medium, but I see now that the purpose was to showcase storycraft within this gameplay medium. I'd be lying if I said that I truly showed my skill to 100% of my effort because you're often spending so much time just trying to get like the technical, logical puzzle stuff and all of the you know, the collision hit boxes and the, the crit path logic and all that stuff. You're trying to get that to work. And so that distracts you a lot from the thing that you were meant to be proving by creating this game. So I absolutely experienced that. Like 99.8% of this game was just getting the game to work. A lot of the narrative stuff had been somewhat washed and kind of discombobulated, which is why, as I said before, I really don't see myself as an indie game developer because that's like, you're, you're trying to be good at a lot of things, but you're not really excelling at one specific, on one specific front. You can still create something, you know, visually interesting, 
but I think you're still going to be a disadvantage compared to working on a team where everyone is bringing their skills at 100% to the table and then I can function within that context and focus only on, well, how do I build the best narrative experience for this game? Because I can certainly see the potential where that can come out. Like the puzzle solving as it comes to you with enough clues can be quite fun. And again, this was not in a 3D, a free 3D environment, which if it were, I think that the horror element could have come out a lot better. Like certain jump scares, like the, the woman laughing and ha 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 ha. So unfortunately I was not able to bring that fear element into the experience as much as I wanted to just by virtue of that. And in the case of Resident Evil, it would be also gaining better weapons and like killing zombies and such, which I do hope to eventually create a game like that uh, as my ideal game sometime in the future. But for now, I think this is a pretty good just first step because you've demonstrated that you can work within this medium, you can deliver some kind of narrative experience within this medium that can lead up to something that is greater than the sum of its parts.